Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. A very warm welcome to day three of Crufts 2023 Super Saturday International Day here at the world's greatest dog show. And what a day we've got for you here in the main arena. It is now time to turn our attention, though, to the heel work to music. And today, it is our international freestyle heel work to music. We've had heel work to music competitions running every day at Crufts, Thursday, yesterday, and today. And today, it is the international competition. So we're going to be enjoying 13 different routines by 13 different international handlers. Our judges are going to be looking for the overall content and flow of the routine, also looking at the accuracy and the performance. They're also going to be judging the musical interpretation as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you love dancing dogs, you are in for a treat because these are the highest level of heel work to music. With it being the freestyle competition, it means that the handlers are free to put the routine together themselves and use props and do all sorts of different moves and tricks that they want to do. So, are we ready for some heel work to music, ladies and gentlemen? Please welcome your judges. First of all, Sandra Hallam. Please welcome our head judge, Louise Ince. And your international judge, Greta Wagner. So our judges are going to take their positions. And they, as I say, are going to be judging each routine. Ten marks for content and flow are available. Ten marks for accuracy and performance. And a final ten for the musical interpretation of the routine. How does the handler embrace the track that they've chosen and weave that into the routine? How does the music interact with the props and the movement? Okay, we are ready for our first handler. Our heel work to music, international freestyle. Representing Switzerland, please welcome, with 10-year-old Jack Russell Terrier Sam, Monica Garig. So this is 10-year-old Enki du Petit Royaume with Handler Monica and a brilliant routine to a song you're going to know, Mac the Knife. Here we go. Oh, the shark baby has such teeth there. And it shows them pearly white Just a jackknife has old Maggie made And it keeps it uh, out of sight You know when that shark bite With his teeth, baby Scarlet billows start to spread Fancy gloves, though, where's old Maggie Heath, baby? So there's never, never a trace of red. Now the sidewalk, huh, huh, ooh, Sunday morning, uh -huh, lies a body just oozing light. Get someone sneaking round the corner. Could that someone be Mac the Knife? Uh, there's a tugboat uh, 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 down by the river, don't you know? Where a cement bag just drooping on down. Oh, that cement is just, it's there for the way to dare. Five will get you ten old Mackies back in town. Now you hear about Louis Miller He disappeared, babe After drawing out All his modern cash And now Maggie Heath's been Just like a shell Could it be a boy's done something rash Oh, the mind for 
back in town. I said, Jenny Diver, whoa, Suki taught me. Look out to Miss Lottie Lynn, and old Lucy Brown. Yes, that line falls on the right day. Back in town. Well, what a lovely way to start this international final. That little dog with such character there. And uh, the handler really showing off the, well, the way the dog was so well taught. Because one of the things the judges are looking for is, are the handlers giving too big a signal? And there were some lovely sections there where the handler had her hands in her pockets and in no way was she giving any physical sort of pointing of her uh, hand to tell the dog to do something and that's important for these judges they want to see very subtle signals and uh, that little dog was really quite responsive to uh, the signals that were being given but they were being covered by the moves that the handler was doing but uh, the beauty about freestyle and you know there was a good example there was that the handler really sort of sold the moves that the dog liked to do uh, little dogs they often sit and beg very well and because they're so small they can jump on the handler's back and things like that and so that's what you're trying to do when you construct these routines you're trying to basically take the things your dog likes to do and then you've got to put it to music and that is really important bit putting that to music making sure everything fits together so representing germany with eight-year-old can terrier toto so our next competitor will be our little can terrier two terriers one after the other and this is toto out with connie her handler and they're going to be performing to concerning hobbits Oh, what a cute start.
What a lovely little Ken Terrier that was from Germany. And uh, some lovely moments there where the dog shot off around that log. Lovely distance. And distance is something that the judges are going to be looking for for top level marks. Distance of the hand of being well away from the dog and perhaps performing moves where the dog is actually facing away from the hand. So here's the score for our first dog. That was that little lovely Jack Russell and a 26.40 for Monica and Sam from Switzerland. And that's a really good score, some eights and nines there. So they've done so well. And uh, that's really setting a good mark for all the teams to come. Doing a lovely distance creep out ahead there. I was just talking about distance move and difficulty. And that little Jack Russell there did a stunning creep away from the handler, which was requires great confidence from the dog. So that was little Sam and his marks. We will uh, get to little Toto's marks very soon. And we're on to our third handler of the competition, all the way from Canada. And this is Dakari, the Australian Shepherd. They performed here last year, did very well. They're performing to Dance Monkey.
Well, what a lovely little routine that was with Dakari from Canada. And totally different from the routine they did last year when they were here. And uh, that team, they're well practiced at being in this sort of atmosphere because they've appeared on America's Got Talent and Canada's Got Talent. So the dog was not faced at all about what was going on in the arena. So here we have the score for our little Cairn Terrier. 20.05 there that goes into our second place. And you see the deductions at the bottom if you've never watched freestyle before. The only deduction the judges can give in that section is for barking. And there was a little bit of noise there from uh, that little Cairn Terrier as it was getting a little excited. And uh, the judges, if it feels like it sort of distracts a little bit from the routine, they will just take a few marks off. And each judge, as I say, can uh, deduct up to four marks. And as you can see when the scores are coming up, the, the, uh, the scores are uh, added together for each of the judges um, under each of the headings and then averaged. And uh, we're there on to our fourth competitor. And this is representing Sweden. This is Navy, the Border Collie, with her handler, Ella. Six-year-old dog, this is, sorry. And uh, they're going to be performing to Begin. And this has been a big dream of this team to come here and perform. So we wish them well. Put your
well. If you wanted to see distance work, there was a routine to watch because that dog was working very well at a distance there in many of those moves and it was a, a, it's a very high drive collie you can see that whole intensity in that attention that dog was giving its handler and uh, utilizing some of the moves that a border collie loves to do with big circles and things like that and even that bouncing in front of the handler it's a very good sort of natural dog move i'm sure the dog sort of would do it naturally and but harnessing that as a move and that's a brilliant thing about freestyle is that you can harness things that dogs love to do so here was our daiquiri score which was canada um, performing to dance monkey they've got 23.97 that's got them into second place uh, bearing in mind our Jack Russell number one dog was on 26.40, still in first place. So Dakri there, performing to Dance Monkey, the handler doing some acrobatics as well in the routine, which uh, you don't have to do, but if you can do it as a handler, it might open up other moves that you could do with your dog. But the beauty about freestyle is even if you're not that acrobatic, and I certainly am not, um, is that you work with what you can do and you find the music and the idea and the story, perhaps, that suits you and your dog. So you can actually beat somebody who's doing lots of backflips and everything else because it's well, about finding that right music. That was with so we're on to our fifth handle all the way from Japan. And this is Sachiko with Alina, a seven-year-old bitch. They're performing to Amazing Grace.
a cute ending to that routine and, and a totally different piece of music from our last dog. But both dogs, the Hannahs are chosen great bits of music for the, the character of the dog. There we saw Alina, a lovely feminine, smaller border collie and using that lovely floaty music. And it just suited that team and particularly that dog. And that's the, what's so interesting about this sport is it's right, one of the key things is finding that right bit of music for your dog. And talking about our Swedish dog, uh, which was doing the track begging, they did very well there and got 24.57 into second place.